Hi there. Today we're going to navigate the COARC website to look up statistics on respiratory programs. What is COARC, you ask? Well, it's the Commission of Accreditation for Respiratory Care. They accredit programs in respiratory care at the associate, baccalaureate, and master's degree levels in the United States and its territories. Okay, let's get started. So I'm about to show you a really easy way to be able to pull up information on the COARC website for respiratory programs within the area that we live in, as far as COD for sure is what I want to look at for College of DuPage, but it also allows me to look at other states and other programs across the nation. So as you can see, I'm here at the COARC website. The easiest way to do that is to go to the Students in Public drop-down menu, click on that, and then go down to Programmatic Outcomes Data. When I click on that, it's going to tell me a little bit about what's actually being reported and available to the public. And then once we get to the interactive map, I'm going to be able to tell what the, RT, what the CRT credentialing success is, what the RRT credentialing success is, what the attrition rates are, what job placement is, the number of program enrollees for each year, and the total number of program graduates for each year. And this is a three-year time, uh, time period that's being reported. So if I page down here, you'll see where it says click here to access an interactive map of outcomes data from 2015 annual report of current status for entry into respiratory care professional programs. It's a mouthful. So I'm going to click right here on the red button and it's going to pull up an interactive map for me. So the easiest thing to do is go ahead and close this direction section out so that I can pull up the map of the United States. Now, because I want to look at the College of DuPage program, I'm going to click on Chicago. And then, as you can see, it's going to pull up a little bit closer picture of our region. Each of these dots are individual programs, so I could go to any one of these and look up the statistics on each of those programs and certainly see what the competitive uh, rates are for each of the programs surrounding us. In the Chicago area alone, there are five programs, so I'm going to click on that five to give us an even better view. So all the way over here is College of DuPage. When I click on the little red dot, it's going to give me all of the information about that program. So it's going to tell me the address of the location of the college, the program number. The status is that they are an accredited program. It is an Associates of Applied Science degree. It's at a community or junior college. It is a public school. Tells me that the attrition for the program, the threshold for COARC is 40%. The national average is 18.9%, but as you can see, College of DuPage is 5.4%. If I pull down on this menu bar, it's also going to give me what the job placement information is. As you can see, the national average is 85.5%, and the job placement for College of DuPage is 84.6%, so essentially right at the national average. Now looking at the CRT success, the threshold for COARC is 80%, the national average is 92.3, and College of DuPage is at 94%. The RRT success, the national average is 70.5%, and College of DuPage is 70.1, so right at that national average. If I pull down employee satisfa satisfaction, it's telling me the threshold, 80%. National average is 98.9% and COD is at 98.1. The graduate satisfaction threshold is 80%, national average 98.8, and College of DuPage graduate satisfaction is 100%. And then the on-time graduation rate threshold is 70%, the national average 90.4, and so on. Down here is going to give me the graduates for the last three years. So in 2014, they had a graduating class of 40. National average was 19. Grads in 2013, 41. 2012, 41. So you can see we're double the average. The maximum annual enrollment is 40. And the total enrolled uh, for 2014 was 36. 2013 was 40. And 2012 was 40. So as you can see, just by pulling up this interactive map, it's going to give you a ton of information about different programs across the United States. So if I wanted to look at the two programs that are here in the city, if I click on this one here, that's going to tell me what Rush Medical Center's program is. Now Rush Medical Center has a program that is actually uh, a bachelor's program. So as you can see, their numbers are going to be a little bit different. It is a private school. 
here's what your attrition rate is, which is 28.6, which is a lot higher, again, based on the fact that that's probably a bachelor's degree program. And then I can just click through and look at all of the information regarding Rush University Medical Center's program. If I wanted to look at a school, let's see somewhere, I can just kind of roll out so I can look a little bit uh, farther out in the United States. I could go down to the Kansas City area. I could look at Topeka, Kansas and see what their program is all about. So it's a great way to be able to look quickly at a map, figure out different rates at different schools to make sure that you're within where you want to be. It's also a great tool for students to be able to utilize if they're trying to decide on a program or figure out what is out there as far as information and how they would go ahead and look that up to see what the history is for that school, how many they've graduated, and if it's a program that they're interested in getting involved in. Thank you so much for your time today. I hope you learned a little bit about the COARC outcomes map so that you'd be able to utilize looking up a program and finding out more information about them.